If you haven't already heard the news, Rivian recently updated their pricing and they gave pretty much everything a very significant bump. That is really going to offend a lot of folks that pre-ordered their Rivian some time ago. So let's dive into what they did. Well, back when I pre-ordered my Rivian R1T, which has been quite some time now, they promised it would start at $61,500. It's worth noting they also promised it would start production in calendar year 2020, deliveries late 2020, Obviously, that's all been thrown out of the window. It's now 2022. I was one of the very early pre-orders, and uh, I am still Rivian free. Now, at that time, again, $61,500 was the starting price. But now, as of today, the base starting price for that comparable Rivian is $79,500. And that rather unfortunately means that the Rivian that I pre-ordered, according to uh, the online configurator here on my account, is now $91,500. And to be perfectly honest, I'm seriously considering not getting the Rivian at all because I just don't have $91,000 hanging around. I didn't even really have $70,000 hanging out. I figured that would be just one of those really long loans. Uh, you know, maybe I'd need to make more YouTube videos to make that work but I'm pretty sure that this is just not going to work for me now. Now, the big reason that they did this was the base price itself went up and then the quad motor option, which is really what the Rivian has been all about, that is now a $6,000 option on top of the adventure package. So the adventure package itself starts at $73,000 for the R1T. Quad motor all wheel drive, that's $6,000. If you want the bigger battery pack, that's the mid size pack, not the biggest pack, not the max pack, that's also $6,000. We're talking now $12,000 on top of that $73,000. The paint option that I chose was 1,750. The interior, 2,000. The uh, underbody shield, that's $2,000. And the full size spare tire, 750. That brings you all the way up to 91,500. Perhaps adding a little bit of insult to injury here, I don't have a defined production date for my Rivian R1T yet either. If you were one of the few, one of the very, very few that already have your Rivian, obviously you've already paid the lower price. And if you were right in the middle of a transaction, apparently, with your Rivian, then they would honor the price. But if you haven't received your Rivian yet, if it is still on pre-order, if you just have a build date, etc., then the price tag is going to be the higher one. And that is pretty significant. Now, if I go in here and open the configuration uh, widget and start, you'll notice that they now seem, seem to have a starting price of $67,500 for the Explore package. But there are a few things you should know. If you want that price tag, you need the dual motor setup. That's new option for the Rivian R1T. Previously, they were all quad motors. Now there is going to be a dual motor setup. It's gonna be an in-house developed motor. That one could theoretically get you down to about, let's see here if I click the standard battery pack and just the boring silver paint here, uh, the included wheels, $67,500 could be the option for that one. But there's also another thing to keep in mind. That one is not gonna be delivered until 2024, so two years from now. So if you're hoping to get a Rivian for close to the original promised price, that's going to be about four years from the original scheduled delivery date. And that is, of course, assuming that Rivian does not bump the price between now and then, which is definitely likely based on what we've seen. Now, on the one side, I can definitely understand why Rivian had to increase the price. Pricing on everything has gone up. It's just been that kind of inflationary year, inflationary 18 months. So the cost of the battery packs, etc. Rivian is a relatively small company, even though they do have lots of employees everywhere. They haven't really made any money. Actually, let me correct that. They have not made any money. All they've done is lost money and built a few pre-production prototypes and a very small number of production cars. So clearly being profitable or at least getting revenue in is important to Rivian. And that's probably why they raised the price tag on the R1T. But I also have to say that I'm pretty disappointed that this price increase was so significant and there was no attempt to try and mitigate this for people perhaps that were early on the list. Um, I placed my pre-order right away on the day that pre-orders were available. And I got a recent call saying, hey, if you change your configuration, you do this, you do that, then we will prioritize your delivery and you should be able to get it before summer. Now, that is a very vague before summer time frame because again, on this configurator here on my account, it does not give me a production date for my R1T. But I had really hoped that folks that were in this window wouldn't have received quite as big of a price increase as people maybe that were putting in their pre-order today.
You should also know that if you have a reservation on an R1S, your price tag has gone up a little bit more than the price increases on the R1T. Again, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed because for me, this is nearly a $20,000 price bump on a car. That's, that's almost an entire car, to be perfectly honest. So going from around $73,000 to $74,000, my memory is a little bad on exactly where the price tag was when I originally placed the order. But this is a massive, massive price jump up to $91,000, uh, actually just a little over there again, $91,000. 1005 for this configuration of R1T. Let me know what you think about that down there in the comment section below. I would especially love to hear from folks that have a pre-order on the R1T or R1S. Have you canceled it already? Are you planning on canceling it? Uh, have you reached out to Rivian to see if they're willing to give people any de deals for people that have deliveries scheduled really close to today? Because again, this is a thing that happened yesterday. And Anybody that was in process, apparently the price is being honored, but if you were not in process, you hadn't started any loan applications or anything like that, then they're not honoring your price tag, we're being told. So let me know all that down there. Of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I will keep you up to date on uh, the progress of the R1T if it ever happens or if it's ever uh, offered to me, if there are any additional price increases, etc. I have to say that we do also have a pre-order on an F-150 Lightning, and I was really torn as to which one I liked. Um, I figured maybe Maybe if one arrived before the other, I would just take that one since the prices didn't seem to be too far off. But at this point in time, the F-150 Lightning, it appears to be on schedule. I have a build date already defined for that. May 8th is when my truck is going to be built according to Ford. Delivery at some point thereafter by the time it gets uh, from the factory over to here. Um, and its price tag hasn't gone up. So at this point, it looks like it is going to be significantly less expensive than the smaller Rivian R1T. To be perfectly honest, it's also less cool. It doesn't have quad motors. It doesn't have the range that we find in the R1T, etc. It doesn't have uh, some of the really cool touches that we find in the Rivian. But on the other hand, it's a vehicle you can actually buy. And I have a suspicion that sometime around May or June, an EV in the hand is probably going to be worth two Rivians in the bush. Again, let me know what you think about all that down there in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And uh, stay tuned because hopefully there will be additional update videos right like this one. I'll see all of you later.